How you doing? I'm Mark with Hothead Headliners. We are going to show you how to install a sunshade for the JL four door. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get 16 of these little hooks like this. And on your Jeep, holding on this molding are these little screws that go all the way around. You're going to take, we're going to send you one of these little T25 bits. You can stick it in a screw gun, which makes it super easy or a handle if you have one. Um, like a screwdriver handle. Just gonna stick it in there. Take this off. Now, at first, it might not seem like it's gonna go through. It hits right there. You just sort of, these have been on, so they go through a little easier. The only thing you want to make sure don't tighten them too tight. It's snug like that. I've already put these in. There's 16 of them total. You're gonna have two here, two right here. Two right here, we're skipping this one. And then there's four in the back. Boom, 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 boom. And the other side's exactly the same. Okay. Okay, you're also gonna get a couple of these black nylon bolts. You're gonna see exactly what they are used for in a minute. And here is the sunshade. Um, the part with the black two inch webbing is the front. So what we're gonna do is we're just, I'm just gonna Toss it up here as best I can, and I'm going to jump up in the driver's seat. Okay, we want to get these two things in first, because it sets it in place exactly where it needs to go. In the front, there's two grommets. This thing slides right in this groove, super easy. This is where your freedom top, it has a little pin that goes through that. You're just going to take one of these, undo the bolt. Don't worry about the rest of this, how it's hanging. All you got to do is just stick that bolt in there and screw the nut on. It don't have to be tight, just like that. Okay, now we're going to run around. tall, you wouldn't have to jump in the seats, probably if you're six foot or above. Now this, it just slides right in, just like that. Super easy. This one's going to line up perfectly. Just sits in. These tops, you can take these on, tops on and off in a couple minutes at the most. Now we're going to go to the back. I'm going to grab this thing. Now these two bungees in the back, they don't hook to any hooks. You're just going to grab them, go right around the pillar, and right back onto themselves. And you want to be a little careful of that. Can you see that up here, how it goes? It just hooks right around that T thing there. Do the same thing with the other one. Even it up. Now we have these two here. We're just going to put them right around the hooks. These are inset a little bit here so they kind of stay out of the way. It's pretty much set in place now. Now all we got to do is just hook the sides. Okay, and the way I do this so I don't get the thing pulled way over is I just hook one hook. That way it's not pulling a lot of tension one way. I grab another one, just hook one. Now I'm going to go to the These other side. These ones we can hook on both, both of them. Come around here. Hook these the rest of the way. And this thing's installed except for these two front bungees, which you're going to have to take out. Okay, this front bungee right here, you need to take the bungee that's in it. It has a little slot like that. And if you pull them, it'll go just like this. So now it's one straight line. Okay, on this pillar right here, there's a hole. And the only way you can get this is to go straight up from the bottom with this part. Can you show down here? Because the hole on the bottom's small. Okay, so we're going to go up, we go right up through there, and now you see it coming out here, okay, now you just go right through there, and then you open it back up, now it's stuck, and you can pull this right around and hook it, okay, that's all you do, that's it, that's the basic insulation, the other one has, it has a bungee on the other side just like that, and that's it. Um, Go out and drive and 
Have fun. Okay, so now we're going to show what you need to do if you want to put your hard top on over the top of this, the JL four-door sunshade. All you have to do is pull these two nuts and bolts out, the little nylon ones in front. You just push it straight up. Probably best to put these in a baggie, throw them in the back. Put those in the back. Now I'm going to show real quick. Real quick. We're going to. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this and it's just going to lay back like this. And that's going to give you room to put all your buckles and everything on when you put your hard top okay, on. Okay, we have the back of our hard top on. However, you do that, if you have a lift in your garage or you get a couple guys to put it on, it goes on exactly like normal. So it's going to look like this. You're just going to take your front pieces. Put them right in place. And the pin goes in there where the bolt goes in. I mean, that's basically it. You're just going to pull this back a little, lock that down. I'm going to walk around to the other side, put the other side on. Okay. Slide that one in place. Part of the reason why I probably would never actually drive like this for a whole winter is because then I couldn't see my hothead headliners that are installed above this. And I'd like to be able to see them. Okay, we're gonna pull this back a little, latch that. These front ones, latch just like normal. Okay, from there, I'm gonna kind of roll this forward as far as it will go. It'll only go as far as that will allow it. So it only goes so far, because if you roll it right there, these push right up against it. And then they kind of hold it up. Let's see. I had this baby in here before. And it kind of holds it up and rides just like that. Now the back pieces, we got the cutout for that. They lock just like normal. The only ones that are a little funny is the side ones are right here. And you just got, you can slide them just like that. And the other side's right there. And you can kind of just slide them right through the, and they're locked in. And that's it. The whole thing's locked in. Um, if you want to take it off, you take the front pieces off. You could hook the front up, drive like that. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Okay, so if you're going to install this with your soft top, if you put your rails on, your plastic rails, you have to just pull out the front bungee, the very front one that goes up through this hole. Just pull it out, store it with the, your other spare bungees. Um, you can drive just like that perfectly. If you want to actually put your soft top down, all you got to do is pull these two bolts out, which I've already pulled that one out. Um, so you can see it good. It's this one right here. We're just going to pull it out. Okay, flip it back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these bungees, these two bungees, and we're going to attach them to the front here. We're going to show up at the top real quick. Okay, so here are the two bungees, the grommets here that we've taken out that used to go in this hole. We're just going to stick it straight through this. And all we're going to do is attach it to the two front uh, hooks just so it's held nice and tight. So we're just going to pull it right through there. So we got this that we put through. All we're going to do is stretch it open, hook it on this side, and hook it on this side. We already did the other one. And there it is. This is folded back nice and neat. You can hook your front up, and there you are. Put it back, all you gotta do is pull these bungees out and put these bolts back on, and that's it. So we flipped it back, we got the nylon bolt. Now there's a little bit of tension pulling this back so it's not all the way, but if you take this, you can kind of take your hand and I'm using it to push it forward, and you get anywhere close to that hole and you can just shove it right through. It's that easy.